semesters are probably my favorite feature of Action RP because it just makes doing work um, much easier and faster. I'm going to show you how I go about identifying what should be a master and what shouldn't be a master. So on the website, I'm looking for components which occur repeatedly across the site, across the site, not just a page. We've got our header, which is usually a good uh, candidate for a master. We've got these buttons, which this black button. Um, we've got these product cards. And we've got these white buttons. We have this footer and potentially these quick links. Let's take a look at a category section. For the men's category, the header somewhat stays the same. So that looks like it's going to be a master. These are product cards, which look the same as the home page. Okay. This looks like a category card is very different from a product card some quick links but these quick links are different now so perhaps not a good uh, candidate for being a master the footer stays the same so so far we've got the footer the header some buttons and product card let's take a look lastly at a product detail page this is for the night zoom x the head is still the same, but you will notice this is slightly different. So we may need to rethink how our header is going to be a master. We've got the black and white button, but this one is slightly different as well, a bit larger. And then you got a like, you might also like section, which kind of has the same product card uh, structure as the one we found on the homepage with the title, category, and price. And lastly, the footer. Cool. So now we know what we're going to make a master. So let's get back to the to extra project file. And the way you go about creating a master is you select everything that you want to be a master and then right click and create master. I'm going to call this header one. Okay, cool. Continue. And then I'm going to select the second part. I'm also going to make it a master. It's like a header slider uh, ribbon. Let me just take out the spaces just to keep a consistent uh, naming style. Okay, cool. And what you'll notice if you have the masters tab switched over here this is where the masters are actually listed so notice what we just created header one and header slider ribbon i also want to make this button a master let's just take a look at how it works on the website so when you mouse over it kind of gets lighter and let's take a look at the white one it also so it almost like drops in opacity okay cool let's come back here and let's duplicate this and create the white version so our font is going to be black. Our background color is going to be white. And do we need a border? I don't think so. I don't think we need a border, but I'm just going to add one though for now. Let's put it like a light gray. It's D7, D7, D7. Okay, cool create the mouse over effect by going to style effects. So right click style effects and then the font, the actual opacity. Let's bring it down. So this is already set on preview. So I can see the change as well. Let's say 70. Uh, let's make it 80. Okay, that looks all right. So if I just toggle between preview and see how to the end result. Let's make it 70. I think 70 would be a good number. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Say so, okay. And then I want to make this a master, create master. I'm gonna call this a black button. 
continue and this one I'm gonna call it also create master and this will be white button awesome next is the product card so let's just make sure the alignment is okay um, I like to just expand this text field I'm gonna make sh I'm gonna left align the text for this price so that it always sits on this end the product title I'm gonna make it a bit longer in case the titles are quite long so I'm just increasing the size of the app the actual outer box and the category as well let's just make it the same kind of size as this guy okay cool then let's select all three with the product card with the actual image card and right click create master and then this will be product card product card and let's say continue and there's our product card master awesome and then lastly we want to make the footer master. So let's just select all of it. Right click, create master, footer. Awesome. And that, there we have it. So we've got our masters now. And you'll notice the colors like a pink, like a rose pink, pink, like a rose pink. So what I'm going to do now is to start replacing these guys, these three, with my master. So I'm going to take that out, take that out, take that out. And it's either I can copy this one and paste it, or I can drag it from the master's windows pane, like that. I'll press Alt, drag, Alt, drag, right? I'm not too worried about spacing, but let's select them all. Let's make sure to align top and let's distribute them horizontally evenly. There we go. Cool. And that's our product card. And what I'm going to do is to copy this. All right. And we're going to replace this whole section. for the second carousel and there we go cool so far so good and let's see where our buttons are there's white buttons on these two which say shop so i'm going to take this and bring it down let's take a look yeah bring it down here and then press alt drag position it there i'm going to add text later this also has a white button. Pick that button there, Alt drag, and I'm gonna drop it somewhere around there. Okay, so far so good. And then these two sections which have two buttons. Last part has three white buttons as well. Now let, let me show you how you would change the actual text on the button. You do it by actually overriding the text. So each master allows you to override the text. Uh, in this case for the button, I can override the placeholder text called shop. So I can say, kids and this is women women's the last one is men's okay and if we scroll up here was learn more and shop bras shop men's and shop women's okay cool got those two and this is just shop 
So that should be fine. And that's shop shop as well. And then we just need the text for him and for her. Let's go back to our libraries, change this back to default, and I'm gonna use a label. This guy says watch them play. So it's a bit of like a video. So we're gonna bring in a label, tip and watch them play, and change the font size. Let's select this and change the font size to uh, 14. Awesome. Then these have Jordan Delta and let's talk about sports bras. Bottom here, this should be more Nike. And let's just close up this gap here by pressing shift arrow key and then moves it up by 10. Let me just nudge it up a bit, and there we go. I'm happy with that. And there we go. I'm happy with that. And there we have it. This is a is now a wireframe with masters. Let's preview this. Let's just take a look at how it looks and how it sits. There's our button. It's got the mouse over effect. There's our product cards. Awesome. And there's our white button with a slight um, mouse over effect. That's cool. Men, women, kids, and a footer. It's looking really good. I hope um, you're keeping up. This is still very much the easy part. We're almost done with this module. But what we need to do now is to start creating another key feature of Extra RP, which is also one of my personal favorites, dynamic panels.